Hi guys, it's Unders. Today's Logic Pro video is going to be a really quick one. It's applying quantize to audio. So it's really easy to quantize MIDI. You can even quantize MIDI while you're playing it into Logic. However, if you've arranged some cut up pieces of audio, it's a lot harder to quantize them if you don't know where this particular setting is. Also, if you have a long piece of audio that you want to cut up or quantize, you need to do that in a different way as well. So I'm going to show you both of those. Let's get into the video. Say my name loud. Hello guys, it's Unders. So in today's Logic Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you the ways that you can manipulate audio in terms of quantize. If you're working with MIDI, you can obviously do that through the inspector and the piano roll editor, but that doesn't apply to chops of audio and longer parts of audio if you want to change their quantize settings. So I'm just going to explain how we can do that here. So here I've just put a simple kick drum, a shaker loop, which I've then cut up into eighths and then we've just got one uh, bass line here that's just one long piece of audio they're just both taken from the loops library in logic and right now it's just this that's just for an example for you now if say we had a particular swing style or particular type of quantize we wanted to apply to these cut up bits of audio here we can't do that traditionally how we would do it in the inspector. It's just not an option that exists. You see they're just uh, taken away here in the inspector. They're not marked as available. What we have to do instead is press D on the keyboard and that's going to bring up the list editor. And you'll see here that we have a quantize option and all of the bits of audio we've got highlighted will show up in blue. And we can then quantize here appropriately. So if I choose the 16th swing D, you'll see that the shaker now has shuffled to sit in that particular quantize rhythm. If I do control Z, we undo it. However, we now find that this little bass guitar thing below it doesn't sit quite as well. And what we could do is cut up these pieces of audio and do the same thing. But that would then cause us to have a blank parts and there would be bits of the audio missing. So this is where time stretching comes in. And if we enable this to be time stretched and we're going to put it into rhythmic in this case, and we're going to see how that works from there. And you see that's automatically grab the audio at key transients and points here and we can do the same thing in here as long as we've got the list editor up we can see what quantize setting we were using here and then for this now time stretch piece of audio we can match it in the quantize over here now if we had made a different quantize setting via Steeler Groove, which I showed in one of the other videos, we would be able to apply that to the audio here first as well. Now if we go down here and we're going to choose the 16th and swing D, we'll see that has now been applied to the time stretched audio here. And that way we've changed the grooves of our pieces of audio. So if we're working with MIDI and audio, we can get everything syncing up very well. Guys, I hope the video has been helpful for you. If it was, please pop a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one.